doing art on a daily basis now for <laughs> 10 years or something. Yeah. Um, I guess you could say that um, on a very early age I was showing artistic tendencies. So for me it was never just one drawing. There was never a one drawing. I always had to do another drawing and do another drawing and do another drawing. <laughs> <laughs> and my friends, they would kind of just like draw and then soon become bored and wanted to do something else, but I was kind of more intense and kind of, yeah, so. I guess a turning point in my turning point in my life was sorry. <laughs> Where um, a turning point in my life was when I found myself I found myself doing a bachelor's in fine art. <laughs> <laughs> I had a blessing in my life. I became pregnant. Yeah. So I told myself, this is it. This is it. I'm not going to do art anymore. I'm pregnant and I'm becoming a mother, so I'm just going to quit. You know, I'm not going to do art anymore. I'm going to take care of this little baby, get a steady job, and yeah. Sorry, it's kind of hard. Um, so when I was seven months pregnant, like first I was doing yoga, I was eating well, I was not doing art, I was, you know, taking care of myself. And then I had an exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> seven months pregnant and I had an exhibition. Yeah. And after my one, you should see my little daughter, she's so wonderful, I love her so much. And when she was born, I was like, okay, this is it. I'm just going to stick with it. I'm going to be a fantastic mom. I'm not going to do art. This is going to be like a normal life. When she was seven months old, I was still breastfeeding. I went to Copenhagen to fucking four. <laughs> I didn't care. I just left her there, left her there with her dad, and I didn't care. I didn't care. <laughs> and there I until I got artist salary. It just kind of like this grant. <laughs>
have a boyfriend as well, you know? Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, hey, my man, you're just always traveling and handle this shit. God, you're so beautiful and talented. And I was like, well, that's why you signed up for me. <laughs> Keep trying. Like for example, 
is the one piece I did in my early BFA program in Iceland. It was like a sound sculptor, sculptor and uh, people were supposed to step on it and listen to a sound piece in a head, in a, in a, in a, <coughs> yeah, listen to the sound piece, whatever. And uh, the sound was me speaking and I said like, you are beautiful, you are one of a kind, you can do whatever you want to do, you can do it all, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're so smart, you're so good, you can do it all, good luck. Uh, first of all, I have an idea, uh, I have an idea of a piece. I don't know. 